Hi, EricGiboRigibo.com and today I'm going to speak about this flash, the, the Westcott FJ200, okay? So I'm going to give you all the details, so let's start. This is not the first product by Westcott I review, I already reviewed the flash FJ400, I'll leave you the link here, and also the FJ80, I'll leave you the link here, and also the Rapidbox L, which is a fantastic softbox, I'll leave you the link here. So let's carry on with this fantastic flash. Actually, the first Westcott product I bought myself, they didn't send it to me, was a massive umbrella. I still have it and use it, okay? This is a 7 feet, I think, 2.10 meters, really massive umbrella. I use it in some uh, fashion shoot with Claudia Reyes. I'll leave you a link here in front of an American uh, a black car, really nice uh, vintage, okay? And uh, at that time, I was using Godox flashes. I, I've not tried yet any uh, Westcott flashes. And then when I got uh, this uh, first, the uh, FJ400, which is 400 watt second, then the FJ80, 80, 80 watt second, I really fell in love. I really think they have, they have something more. I know that light is light, but the way to use it, the ecosystem, I really love it. So I was missing the middle one, which is the FJ200, 200 watt second. So, I'm going to do an unboxing. I'm not a fan of unboxing, but I think it's important you know that they include some interesting accessories uh, that will help you uh, use your flash in a creative way from day one. Okay, so let's have a look and then we carry on with the technical side of it. So let's open the box. First thing you will see, I think it's fantastic, the indicated is here. A small sticker that says update product firmware. Very often we buy products that don't have the latest firmware because they were firmware update was uh, created like two weeks ago and this has been on the shelf for three weeks for example so uh, you don't have the latest firmware so they remind you to do it so it's really easy some brands don't uh, do it very often but Westcott at least twice a year I think something like this they update the firmware to have better compatibility with your camera obviously if you use only manual mode doesn't really matter uh, but if you want to have TTL or uh, HSS uh, high sync uh, well, it's logical to have the latest firmware to have uh, full compatibility with your camera, okay? So, uh, this is al also another point. This is so easy to update. Uh, when I was with my Godox, uh, I don't want to do a comparison with Godox, but I speak about it because I've used them and I want to tell you maybe why I prefer this one, okay? Uh, updating the firmware on Godox was a nightmare because I use only Mac computer and you need to do it on Windows or create a special cluster with Windows. Uh, real nightmare okay so for me this is easy and fast i love it okay so let's see what's in the box here you get another box a really nice uh, protection box here that says westcott i love it uh, they always present really well the product i love it and here i'm going to open okay so let's start to what i'm going to find in there okay first you will find obviously the flash here it is not that big okay really nice if you want to remove the protection cap, you just pull here, okay? It is really important here. Here you have a bulb and you have an LED light. This is probably what I prefer uh, really, really, really a lot over the Godox AD200. Why? Because when you have the bulb on the AD200, you don't have modeling light. Here you always have a modeling light, you can switch on or switch off, okay? Uh, in the AD200 uh, by Godox, you need to have uh, the Fresnel and then you have uh, the LED uh, modeling light, otherwise you don't have it. So I think this is a really big, big, big uh, positive point, okay? So uh, we'll come back to this to show you, switch it on and how to configure it. Then you also get a bracket uh, filter. So you, I will place it here, okay? So you can... Uh, hold your uh, flash unit you also have an umbrella uh, hole here okay so you can uh, place an umbrella to shoot through or uh, or bounce against the umbrella as you want obviously you get a battery here you also get a charger i leave you this part for the last point because i think this is fantastic you get two cable one is the power cord for your charger and one is a USB-C uh, cable uh, beware that most brands many brands not just Westcott recommend to use their cable to update firmware okay so don't lose it use it to update the firmware here you get a small uh, starting uh, guide okay a quick start guide it's here then you get this what is this these are gels you have six gels and diffuser okay as you can see, what is that? 
to uh, create colors or to correct colors depends on which one you use let's pick this the red one but i'll show you one of my favorite accessory uh, that comes included which is this here you get a reflector i'm going to pull this out i'll show you after okay reflector uh, so with that you get the widest uh, beam of light okay and then you have something that is uh, fantastic that you can uh, have uh, on it on honeycomb uh, uh, grid uh, 30 degrees which is included and look at this look at this here, there, here comes the magic here you can pull this this is magnetic this and here you could place a gel okay i'm going to have a look at it with or without the honeycomb so I get it out okay here it is i just place it like this that easy okay let's close it okay and that's it I've placed my gel so here would be lighting with the red uh, color okay but you could use any other gel whether the one that I included or any other brand you could have already or whatever okay and this way you can uh, use correcting uh, corrective gels or creative gels as you want okay so I think this accessory is really brilliant so now we're going to look at the specs and I will switch it on and show you how it works well, the first thing we're going to do is to place uh, the brackets. Uh, there's no uh, way to make a mistake, okay? Doesn't matter if you put this way or this way. Here, do a small uh, notch here, okay? So you place it and then you just screw with a, a small wheel here. And that's it. And you just need to place it here, okay? So uh, now I'm going to show you a bit more about how it works. I'm a genius. First, maybe I should have put the battery, okay? <laughs> so, uh, easy. Yeah, here you have uh, two connector here two connectors here you just place it in there okay that's it if you want to uh, free the battery you just pull this small lock obviously uh, it's not practical for me the way I am okay but to do it it's really easy as you can see okay and that's it then logically you're going to remove the protection you just pull on the side button here okay and that's it and if you want to place this uh, small uh, reflector you have, you have more uh, four notches here so you just uh, place it and that's it okay and it's mounted okay this is a special mount here okay but they have accessories so you can fit other uh, mount like uh, bowens for example if you have uh, already some softbox or any other softbox they have adapters so you can mount other type of softbox even if you don't have this uh, uh, mount okay no problem with that so some technical details well it is a 200 watt second flash at full power and battery fully charged you get 450 uh, actuation uh, lightning so i think this is really good because first you normally don't use at full power but some people do but not everyone okay so you will probably have more than enough power to uh, for a good uh, photo shooting without any problem the recycling time is really quick from 0.05 second at minimum power up to 1.3 second at maximum power uh, I think 1.3 second is really good because uh, not very often you can get uh, some for some people it sounds slow but when you work you will see that it is really fast I had some flashes that are like, like 7 or 5 7 10 seconds at 1.3 this is brilliant it supports HSS icing up to 1 8 thousandths of a second and TTL but 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 one thing that is important it depends on your camera uh, if you use a trigger like this one by uh, Westcott you pick the brand of your camera and uh, it will uh, be universal I presented this on the video about the FJ400 if you link here okay and that really lets you work with several brands that's fantastic but not every camera is compatible but don't worry if your camera is not compatible you can still use it in manual mode uh, which is uh, you don't use TTL but manual power and you don't do don't use high sync in my case I never use TTL and I never use a uh, high sync so it's no problem although my camera are compatible okay but this is good news okay you can use it and the good thing is this is universal you don't need uh, a a special uh, trigger for my Olympus I don't need one for my Fuji film I've got this one for everything okay so this is fantastic then you have uh, the freeze mode uh, it can make a, a lightning of just 1 20 thousandths of a second which is really short that really freezes the action by the way some people don't really understand how flashes work regarding freezing uh, freezing or uh, lightning time or duration I should say uh, 
many people think that when you put maximum power the flash will give more power and when you put minimum power it will give less power and that's not the way it works it will always uh, shoot at maximum power just the the length of the lightning is shorter or longer it means when you're at maximum power the lightning duration is a lot longer than when you are at minimum power okay so when you want to freeze you need to go really to minimum power so this is why some people they don't understand why you sometimes you go with a really powerful flash and maybe instead of 200 uh, uh, watt second uh, 25 watt second would be enough or 50 watt second would be enough but you want to freeze action so if you use a 50 watt second maybe you're on maximum power and the length of the lightning is too long to freeze so you prefer to have a more powerful light put it at minimum power and freeze the action so it's important to know that so sometimes depending on the kind of picture you make you don't need 200 watt power maybe you need like 50 but you still want to freeze action so you go for more powerful uh, flash and you use it at a lower power to freeze the action okay then uh, you have uh, the possibility to make 20 frames per second uh, burst uh, if obviously not at maximum power okay but uh, if you are uh, doing some uh, action photography and you have a civil picture it could go up to 20 frames per second which is fantastic you have wi-fi 2.4 uh, gigahertz and then to uh, organize your flash uh, situation you have 16 groups and 32 channels so that's not bad now how do you get to trigger this flash well there are three possibilities one is the classic one you have a pc connector here with a cable that goes to your camera if your camera has a pc connector and this is the what we did during many years I have a cable uh, on the floor or wherever uh, i don't think many people still use cables but that works okay second option use the fjx2m which is a trigger by westcott this is fantastic you pick the brand of your camera and then it will be uh, acting on your flash if your camera is not compatible with this system don't worry it will still work uh, using uh, the uh, manual mode instead of uh, ttl or uh, high sync okay uh, that works fantastically no problem i've used it on some camera that are not compatible i had no problem with that okay so this is really a great way one big question some people ask uh, in comments sometimes it says can i trigger these uh, flashes by westcott with my godox trigger or my young World trigger or uh, ca can my uh, westcott trigger uh, trigger a godox a young World? the answer is simple no 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 this is not a westcott problem this is every brand they trigger their flash with their own triggers okay uh, that's the way it works okay but 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 there's a good piece of news here westcott is canon rf compatible it means this trigger can trigger a canon rf flash and a canon rf trigger can uh, trigger this flash okay so that's really a plus compared to other brand and the big plus plus is that uh, this uh, trigger is universal it means uh, if i uh, use my canon camera uh, i can uh, trigger this flash and then when i use my olympus camera i change the brand here place it on my olympus I still use it so i don't need to buy several triggers with one it's okay that's it then third way of triggering this flash if you have the aj 80 this is not a flat just a flash it, it, it is a flash but not just a flash it's also a trigger so you can trigger this flash with it okay if you don't want to uh, obviously this is a lot bigger if you don't want to activate the light here you can and uh, you deactivate that it doesn't the flash doesn't work here but still the trigger is working so you could you could fully control this okay so three ways classical cable i would say westcott trigger westcott fj80 that's easy one thing i forgot to say here is the battery obviously if i'm outdoor this is fantastic but if i am indoor maybe uh, there is a uh, electricity uh, power plug uh, in, in the house or in the place okay or studio i don't really need a battery so there is an optional accessory with which looks like a battery but you actually uh, uh, place it in here and then you plug it into uh, the power in the place where you are so you don't actually uh, recycle your battery uh, 
when you don't need it you just you get the the real power from the house or from the studio okay so this is fantastic that this uh, accessory exists i don't have it but i think this is great for people who will work very often indoor and uh, so the battery is not specially needed you could plug directly on the wall okay so let's finish the visit here you have a usb-c connector for updating a firmware here you have the common side of it here you have a screen okay you have three buttons with these three buttons easily you can do everything here you have a switch on button that is also a test button to make sure that flash is triggering here you have a wheel here in the center so you press it to access the menu and with the wheel you're going to select okay and then also select power of this okay we're going to see that and then the third button which is to go back uh, out of the menu and also to switch on the modeling light that's easy with this you control everything so let's switch on the flash okay i press here it switches on and here you will see at the right bottom here bottom right you have the firmware version so uh, if you check a uh, westcott uh, website you will see if you need to upgrade the firmware or not okay no problem here you have some information which is the power it goes from uh, no, one to nine so you have nine stop of power okay the, it doesn't speak in half power or quarter power it speaks in, in figure, a number like this okay i should prefer that then you have uh, the channel the group uh, m mode because in manual mode here you have uh, uh, it says normal which is the normal thing you have the beep it sounds when i uh, press when it's ready it does deep okay it does a deep not very high and the battery level okay although you, maybe you don't see perfectly i'll show you here okay here you press the central button and here you have the menu and you can access several things first i'm going to change the power of the screen uh, i'm on the maximum that's okay okay you have the mode you press here and then you turn the wheel and select if ttl or manual mode okay here you have the sync mode if it's normal or high sync okay something okay here you have a channel you pick the channel you want the group you want wireless uh, you have two ways it can be ttl all or the rt system by canon before i say rf it's rt sorry uh, rf is a mount okay rt is the flash system okay and uh, actually uh uh, Westcott recommends that unless you're using uh, Canon uh, flashes put it on TTL all although you're using your flashes in manual mode no problem okay in case you use uh, also some uh, if you use the Canon system then you could uh, uh, put an ID for this flash okay an ID number optical I forgot to say that there's a fourth way to of for triggering this flash you could go on optical mode this way it will uh, react uh, if another flash uh, lights it will uh, switch on okay you can put uh, the beep on or off beep is not too loud uh, i like it it's not that loud okay then you have ttl to m mode what is that well you don't have any light meter and uh, you're not sure how to uh, adjust so you can put if your camera is compatible to work in ttl and when it's fine uh, remember that when you do a ttl uh, photography for every picture the camera will measure again light okay so it means if you're in a stable situation it doesn't make sense to work ttl it's more logical to work in manual mode so you have full stability and uh, maybe you accidentally move the camera pointing at the wrong place and the measuring is not right in ttl so it's better to be in manual mode okay so you could start making your first picture in ttl if you're happy with the result you press the button here and you go on manual so it will go on manual so this is possible to activate it okay then you have auto switch off 10 minutes 30 minutes okay the uh, screen brightness maximum minimum mid okay factory reset when you want to go back that easy you press here and then you go back here then here you have the modeling lights as you can see here and it can be uh, automatic which is uh, uh, it will uh, adjust by itself okay then you have a different mode which is you can have it independent brightness independent from uh, the brightness of the flash itself or the of the tr when you're going to uh, trigger okay and then uh, you can switch it off obviously okay so really honestly this is really really easy i don't know how to explain to uh, show you uh, how easy it is it's really wonderful to use really a great ecosystem and uh, i think mm, anyone will love it because uh, with these three buttons like actually you never need to touch them once you've put the right channel and the right uh, the right group you trigger you can control everything from here or from here okay so wonderful on this you can mount some accessories uh, as i said you have the 
the reflector that comes here okay but they also send me this one which is a common uh, to the fj80 on the fj80 it's magnetic like this on this one you don't have a magnetic head so you can uh, take this out and you just uh, simply place it here okay okay that's it it's in case you want to light the whole place okay with the like of a big diffusion you would use that but they have more accessories like a snoot like a, uh, uh, several things uh, you can check on the website uh, they have many things you can uh, use on this and also the adapters to a different mount system for uh, the softbox you may have uh, it could be like uh, whatever balance or whatever you have they have adapters too so it's really a really great ecosystem really uh, you can grow with it you can grow your gear and, and buy accessories as you need okay one thing i really like is because uh here it's really circled really uh it's a circular a bulb i like this and you have uh, the modeling light in the center okay uh when i use uh, ad200 uh if you use with the fresnel because you want to have uh, the modeling light then it's uh, rectangular so it will not feel the same way as softbox and if you use the bulb uh, they have then you don't have the modeling light so i think you have the best of two things here okay and also uh here if when you remove a softbox sometimes it may fall like this and you may break a lamp in this case the flash bulb in this case as it is flat it's not going out like this like on the godox it's a better protected so this is another point for, for me this is like a mini uh, studio light we have we always had during our life okay uh well life uh, depends on the age you have okay but uh, with the battery okay uh, but it really looks like a mini studio light the same as that uh, like 10 or 15 years or more ago okay so i really really love it so my conclusion well honestly this flash is like a mini uh, studio flash like we had many years ago i really love it the fact that it's round the accessory that exists the the way it works along with other westcott flashes i really love it the thing is some people ask me sometime uh what power should i buy uh, fj400 fj80 now fj200 what do you recommend well it really depends on what you want to do okay if you're going to have uh, several flashes well the question mm, is not really a problem get all three because most photographers end up having several flashes not necessarily to use them all at the same time but uh, depending on the situation on the need all this so i would get get all, all three of them or at least two of them okay but if you can buy only one flash because of your budget which one could you buy or should you buy okay well if you're going to uh, need your flash on your camera from time to time the fj80 is a good start but if you're going to do some uh, photo shoot like fashion or portrait and uh, you're going to use your flash uh, off camera well i would recommend maybe this one of the fj400 why because uh i think it's, you have more power uh you can put uh, accessories that are um, i would say like a massive softbox although you can use an adapter here but uh I would probably use this one okay but many people ask me yeah but fj 200 200 uh, watt second is it enough to uh, power out the sun well it all depends if you have uh, the sun against you 200 watt second is a bit short maybe 400 would be better but also if you side uh, on the side and you use a uh, high sink and things like this probably it will be fine okay so it really depends on the situation but i would say if you can get only one flash unit get the midway okay if you can get two well depends if you never use uh, on a camera flash then get the fj200 and the fj400 okay and then uh, it will depend on each situation probably you will sometimes use just one flash unit sometimes two sometimes three because you want to have a, a kicker flash in the back or you want to uh, uh, put some colors in the background or whatever so you will use several flashes and that's good that they have these three flashes that are really complementary okay they really add to each other and they really add to your design of your uh, uh, design of your lighting situation i would say okay so uh yeah i think this flash is completely recommendable i love the fact that they have accessories i love the fact that you can uh, put an adapter to have a different kind of uh, softbox i really love it it's really nice the size is good the power is enough for many situations i really like it okay really 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 like it 
obviously uh, when I get flashes I use them for my work okay so you will see some results uh, from a sh fashion shoot or portrait shoot I will make with this one also I already uh, published some with the FJ uh, 400 with the FJ 18 not that many but I will do special uh, video with this one with some accessory gel and things like this that tend me to so I will make some special uh, photography with it uh, fashion uh, or portrait with this accessory they got and I will present it soon okay so maybe when you see the video it's already out okay so it's already there okay but I'm recording today okay so I speak for today okay so yes this flash is completely recommendable once more i'm really happy with the quality of the product westcott is uh, making and uh, check also uh, their website i'll leave you a link in the description of not just this flash the other flashes they have and all the lighting solution uh, softbox umbrellas all things they have this is these are just great products okay so thank you westcott for giving me the opportunity to present this flash unit and to use it thank you to you for watching the video if you feel it may interest other people please share it on social networks if you have not done it yet please subscribe to my youtube channel the small button down here and also a small bell if you click on the bell get notified when i upload a new video my website ericgibo.com if you have any question can leave a comment below also leave your links of my gear on amazon links of everything i reviewed by Westcott and also a KF concept and Sandmark and also a link to my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. Thank you very much. Take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye.